Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video, I will be talking about the Constitution of the United States of America. I hope you enjoy, or at least find this video informative, as I give my thoughts on this subject. Now, for those who are unaware, according to Wikipedia, the Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of the USA. It superseded the Articles of Confederation, the nation's first constitution. Originally comprising of seven articles, it delineates the national frame of government. Its first three articles embody the doctrine of the separation of powers between the executive, that's the government, the legislature, which is for the United Kingdom, it would be the parliament, but for the United States, it is the Congress, and the executive, which consists of a president and his subordinates. That's within the first article. The second article relates to the judiciary, consisting of the Supreme Court and other federal courts. Article 3. Oh, that is Article 3. <laughs> I can't read today, folks. Articles 4, 5, and 6 embody concepts of federalism, uh, describing the rights and responsibilities of state governments, the states in relationship to the federal government, that is the national government, and the shared process of constitutional amendment. Article 7 establishes the procedure subsequently used by the 13 states to ratify it. It is regarded as the oldest written and codified national constitution in force. Since the Constitution came into force in 1789, it has been amended 27 times, including one amendment that repealed a previous one. I think that was on Prohibition. In order to meet the needs of a nation that has profoundly changed since the 18th century, in general, the first ten amendments, known collectively as the Bill of Rights, offer specific protections of individual liberty and justice, and place restrictions on the powers of government. The majority of the 17 later amendments expand individual civil rights protections. Other issue, uh, not issues, other address issues related to federal authority or modify government processes and procedures. Amendments to the United States Constitution, unlike ones made by many constitutions worldwide, are appealed, uh, not, not appealed, appended to the document. The original United States Constitution was written on four pages of parchment. According to the United States Senate, <laughs> I had a hair in my mouth. <laughs> That's going to get clipped. The uh, Constitution's first three words, we the people, affirm that the government of the United States exists to serve its citizens and not itself. Good in theory. But in practice, not really true. For over two centuries, the Constitution has remained in force because its framers wisely separated and balanced governmental powers to safeguard the interests of majority rule and minority rights, of liberty and equality, and of the federal and state governments. The first permanent Constitution it is interpreted, supplemented, and implemented by a large body of federal constitutional law, and has influenced the constitutions of many other nations. Now, personally, ladies and gentlemen, I've been aware of the U.S. Constitution since I was a boy, learning about the history of the United States since its beginnings, to the point where I considered making this into a video, a My Thoughts video. And I have found this document to be one of the great achievements of modern man, coming out of the Middle Ages and into a time of modernity, enshrining principles that has ensured liberty, peace, and prosperity to the people, especially of the United States, mainly through the dedication of the people that support it, and long may that support continue. Although the United States Constitution has evolved, its core remains the same, though fewer and fewer people in power treat it with the respect it deserves, 
within the United States government. Hopefully, the core of the Constitution inspires the people of the USA to stay true to themselves as a modern nation that keeps the light of liberty alive. Ultimately, I'd like to wish the people of the United States the best of luck in all of their future endeavors. And understand this, Americans. If we can save the United States of America, we can indeed save the world from the terrors of tyranny, at least in my view. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're past the five-minute mark, so I shall spare you the outro. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Until next time, bye for now.